Welcome back to the latest edition of Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week. We begin at number 12 with nationally ranked 125 pounder Joey Lamparelli, who began the week with no pins on the season, but recorded pins in back-to-back -back bouts, including this one, just 19 seconds in, at her sinuses Willabell Invitational. At number 11, men's basketball against Franklin and Marshall. Off the inbounds play, it's Luke Gordas driving in for the left-handed layup and one. At number 10, playing in front of hundreds of school children, Rachel Saxton gave a lesson in scoring in the women's basketball game against Franklin and Marshall College. She scored a career-high 22 points. At number 9, back to the wrestling mat. It's sophomore Trey Militix. Wrestling at 157, down 7 to nothing late in the first period, he reverses his opponent and pins him en route to going 5 and 2 and placing 7th at 157. At number 8, it's Ava to Avery, women's basketball against McDaniel. Ava Conley with the steal, passing up ahead to Avery McNulty for the layup. At number 7, men's wrestling at Gettysburg, and it's junior Paul Paris at 197, taking his opponent down right to his back for a pin late in the first period. It was a key victory in the Mules' 22-21 win. At number 6, women's basketball at home against Gettysburg. Off the missed shot, it'll be senior Caroline Horst saving the ball in bounds right to Jenna Stockfetter, who puts it in for a layup. At number 5, Peter Stanton Shepherd scored a career-high 18 points against McDaniel, but he's in here for his defense, back-to-back -back blocked shots of the same player. At number 4, Willabelle Invitational, 285-pound 7th place bout, and it's Andrew Franklin with the double-leg takedown, with 37 seconds left in regulation for a 4-1 victory. Franklin one of 8 Muhlenberg place winners at the tournament. At number 3, junior Jason Williams Johnson recorded the second 30-point game of his career, scoring 32 points against Gettysburg, just one short of his career high of 33. Williams Johnson was 12 of 18 from the field, and he scored 24 of his 32 points in the second half alone. At number 2, women's basketball at McDaniel, clinging to a 58-57 lead, less than two and a half minutes to play, and it's Emily Unger driving in for the left-handed layup plus one, the Mules win 66-60. And at number 1, the men's game tied 60-60, just over two minutes remaining. Coming off the timeout, Giovanni Rubino with the steal and layup to put the Mules ahead for good, 62-60. That's our number one play of the week. Just about a minute later, off the Jason Williams Johnson drive, Luke Gordas hits a corner three. The Mules close the game on a 13-0 run and win 69-60. Thanks for watching Plays of the Week. Back with more plays next week. Go Mules!